welcome back to the latest episode of This Guy's Thoughts. As usual, I appreciate you swinging by to watch another beer review. Uh, tonight's video is going to feature a brew out of uh, Illinois, uh, back out of my hometown. Um, went there recently and um, went over to a city called Champaign, Illinois, where the uh, University of Illinois is. And uh, had some dinner at a pizza place and I ordered a, uh, a flight and I sampled this here um, beer and uh, then went out did some shopping and came across a six pack of it so I picked it up so I have had this before this here is a uh, blind pig brewing out of uh, Champaign Illinois and this here is their um, raspberry uh, raspberry wheat L so get a good look at the artwork there the logo um, Definitely like this stuff. So as far as artwork goes here on the scoring, uh, we're going to give this a uh, 4 out of 5. We'll give it a 4.5 out of 5. It's pretty cool, really. Um, see the six-pack there? Just a couple bottles, uh, or one bottle missing. I've already drank one of them. Um, this here, uh, little saying there, it's on the bottle as well. And uh, I believe, let me see if I can get it all red here. Uh, says, uh, not surprising, pounds and pounds of raspberries give this refreshingly light wheat beer a gentle fruit aroma and flavor. Uh, it's subtle and, love subtle and lovely, not cloying, not sweet, but just well magnificent. Uh, in an elegant, non-cloying, subtle way, take it to bed and sing to it. Okay. Uh, then it says, uh, not pasteurized, not uh, filtered, contains no uh, preservatives and no additives. Then it says, hell no. Are you freaking kidding? This is a blind pig beer. Keep it cool. Enjoy it fresh. So uh, it says, refreshing, light, and delicious. So all of that is right there that I just read. There's quite a bit to it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and crack this open get a pour and get a drink on it just a pink uh, bottle cap on this thing so definitely uh, there are some carbonation bubbles there in the side um, very red looking we'll slide that up there so white head, uh, kind of a, uh, just a raspberry juice uh, color to it there. A light purple, dark pink, whatever you want to call that. Uh, white head up on top, about a finger of head up on there. You can tell it's a wheat beer, that typical graininess. Uh, raspberry, you can, you can smell the raspberry there. So I had this on draft the first time I had it, and it was outstanding on draft. Um, this here in the bottle, not quite as good on draft in my opinion, but good lacing there. Still a nice white, almost a pink tint to that uh, lace on there. Just a raspberry, weedy earthiness to it um, as far as aroma goes. That's pretty much it right there. A lot, Lots of raspberry there. Let's go ahead and get a drink on this. So, I've had this before. This bottle tastes as good as uh, the rest of them, the rest of it that I've had on the other bottle I drank in when I had it on tap. Lots of raspberry um, up front. The whole mouthfeel is just raspberry. A little bit of a graininess to it. Grainy, weedy, earthiness to it. But just lots of raspberry. Um, and not the artificial candy tasting raspberry, but like, um, like a real raspberry, I guess. Um, so, as far as rating this goes, um, 
on the chart here. Uh, one, I'll never drink this again. Five, I'll go out of my way to drink this. Um, I'll drink it anytime it's available. It's a solid four out of five. Um, Mouthfill, it's at 4.7% alcohol by volume and a 17 IBU. So it is a lighter, um, lower uh, ABV on it. Uh, Mouthfill, definitely uh, the heavier side of a light mouthfill, not quite medium mouthfill. I think it just fills that way. Um, just there's a thick raspberryness to it. Um, but the the overall mouthfeel I would say it's just just below a uh, medium mouthfeel, um, nice smooth uh, smooth refreshing drink um, I'll tell you that so uh, you had this before you're from that area you've had this before you know anything about it you've had anything else from Blind Pig um, let me know what you think like subscribe comment hit that notification bell. That's my thoughts.